All right, 30 seconds or less, we're about to roll off, and uh, this is a short pace lap. So, starting on the final straightaway before the last chicane, poor qualifying out of me, especially for being the number four. But, uh, yeah, at least I don't think a whole lot of people are going to be attacking from behind, but you never know. Um, just keep it on track and hope for top eight, but very tricky track here at Montreal. This is the F1 track and uh, you got walls really close on both sides and a bunch of chicanes and lots of big curves. So. One long straightaway here, and it should be an interesting race. We got quite a few people, so 17 cars, 22 laps, and I just hope that we can keep it all clean. But it is also a very tricky right bend into a left hander, into a tight right hander to start off. So usually ends up causing a bit of a bit of a problem, but early start by the leader, so we're going spread out at the front, and we're just going to see what happens ahead of us, We've got lots of space behind us, so no need to get involved in anything that might happen here, which is going to be a spin, two car having issues there, not sure, not sure why he was so slow after that. Unless he got some damage from... Might have got punted there. Or he's just trying to keep it clean. So, gotta get the front tires warmed up. Gotta get my braking correct. I've got the brakes pretty far forward. Just to prevent me from doing something stupid. Gonna be braking early and staying off the curves. That's the goal here, is just finish all 22 laps and see what we get. So, should have downshifted before I got there. That kind of pushed the nose. And actually the nine car pulling away from me pretty well right now on that lap. Got a blinker up ahead. But we completed one lap, so. One minute point eight two five. This track really doesn't suit my style. Um, slow corners. Heavy braking zones, big curbs, and very close walls. But it's just learning. It's uh, all about just continuing to get laps down, so. Maybe in 10 years I won't be as terrible as I am. Missed the turn in there. Two cars coming back. Racing up ahead for sixth, sixth place. It looks like fifth has dropped back now into the seventh place. Must have had a bad, bad hairpin corner. We get a decent run through the last chicane and actually have gained a bit on the nine. Point zero nine one. 
put your wheel and gas at the same time out of that corner and completely screw that up. That's where my crappy braking skills come into play. So we fall back to 1.8. Almost got a little grass on the entry there. A little bit of curb, a little wiggle. Gonna have some draft down the straightaway. I'm just gonna open up the inside. That way he doesn't have to do anything Power stupid. And maybe he can tow me up to the nine. seen too many uh, wrecked cars ahead of us yet, so. So a long race. Missed my braking spot, and he did as well. We both pushed wide midway through the chicane. It's a way better exit out of there than I did. 2.8 to the 9 car. And time to put the cheap car up. See if I can put together some laps. One minute thirty three point two four seven. Got a lap car here. That slowed the nine down, so that brings him back to the two. Might have a little race on our hands as long as I don't screw myself up. There we go, we got someone wrecked somewhere. Maybe out of this corner, he's disconnected already maybe. Or he's one of those cars that just got going. I guess this is the guy that says he's in fifth. up by the two. Not a big deal. It was a baby lockup. Looks like that neon yellow car falling back. Not sure if he's got damage. Little curve. You don't want to get that curve. That just sends you straight into the wall. I think the 13's got some damage or something that's slowing him down. Or he's just taking it easy after whatever happened ahead, but he might not have a front wing. Does not look like he's got a front wing on that thing. He would have been better off just pitting there. I was stupid. Went in there too hot. Then 
I didn't want to be on the outside of him there. And now I've lost touch. Once they start racing each other, if they battle at all, it should pull me back up. As long as I get some decent laps here, it's starting to do some odd turning in stuff in the middle of the corner. A little more turn in than I can handle, so hopefully that doesn't continue because we're only six laps in. to the left. He's going to try to cut under on exit. He does, but he gets a little loose there. He's going to kill any run he had there, and he's going to have to re-catch him. It's almost worth just waiting until the hairpin or the long straightaway after it. about the car snapping on me on throttle there just because I kept it tighter than I normally do. Oh, he is .3 back, getting the draft. Not going to have a chance into this one unless he throws it in really late, which would probably end up giving me two spots. He gets a little loose again on the exit and uh, drops back further. Minute 33.299. Had to swap the cat off the desk. Made me uh, miss a shift. Not good timing. curb there. But I'm in eighth, so uh, that's good. That's uh, kind of where I figured I would finish. Once people start falling out. Oh, is that a little wall contact? Might have just been the server thinking that he hit it, but that was a pretty tough hit if he did really hit it. Might have messed up his toe. Now he's within point three, straight on to the straightaway. Now down to point two. We're going to see a move. He's going to go up the inside. Is the he gives it to him, and now it is my job to try to catch up to the nine. But will the nine be able to fight back? There might have just touched the wall. No big deal there. A little hot on the brakes. Tiny bit of lockup. Nine's trying to fight through that arrow. Still hanging on him. Is he going to try and move here? This is an easy place, though. Oh, there we go. He gets in the back of him. And I'm too busy looking at it to uh, slip. 
slow down. What I was going to say is it's an easy place to miss your marks, overdrive the entry. And that's what we got out of the nine. Is he missing a wing? Does he have wing damage? Hit him solid with the nose. Yeah, he's got some wing damage. So that's the two car out. That's us up into sixth place. That's us back to eighth. That was just a stupid, unforced error. No need for that. Nine car's definitely off base, though. We'll see if we can track down the six. Rear tire's a little hot from lighting it up, getting it turned around there. dropping more. Six cars past him, so we're going to have to get past the nine again. I spun out in the place that's got some of the most room. Still lost me any shot at uh, maybe catching up to fifth. It was looking like they were falling back. And the nine just ate the wall again. to the six. slow through this final chicane without that front grip. just dying for front grip after that contact. So 3.3 now. He's got to get past the lapper though. Sounds like the lapper has slowed down and let him by if he, unless he spun out or something. Hopefully we can get the inside into the hairpin. Or he 
is just going to start. Jesus. Or he's just going to stop on exit. You can't stop in the racing line. Well, now we got some damage on our front wing. There was, I mean, I was full lock there. Do not slow down on the exit of the corner. Slow down on the entry of the corner. Let him go in the braking zone. One minute, three, four, point eight, three. to go, it's gone by. So, left front wing, pretty sure is messed up. We weren't going to catch the six car anyways, but now this allows the nine to come back at us. Watch the lap times and see. See if it's really off or not, but it feels different, but it could all just be in my head. Might be okay. Losing ground to the six might have been happening anyways. Had I just not spun out, that wouldn't be an issue at the moment. And he'd be catching us. Looks like we got one car off the pace though on the F3 screen. Maybe a free spot in fourth place. Looks like the 10 car is broken. No rear wing on that thing. And uh, that rear wheel's not working too well. He's got to go in the pits, get a quick change. That right rear might need driving. It just looks off for me, but definitely doesn't have a rear wing. He'll be out of the race if it's wheel damage. Essentially, short races like this, no pit stop anyways, even a wing change is uh, taking you completely out of it. So, I think I can just kind of back it off. We're in sixth place. It's a decent finish. Could have been fourth, or not fourth, but... Could have been fifth, maybe fourth. I do think that there's, there's definitely something wrong on the left front.
just uh, no stupid mistakes the rest of the way here. No need to push it. We're pulling away from the car behind. We're losing time to the car ahead. Wait too much. No chance of catching him, so. Just get this thing to the end, take a sixth place, and be happy with that. Such a good track, though. Glad we got it. Kind of a street course, but not really. One minute, point nine, four, nine. The only thing street course about it is it's dirtied up by the general public, and it's flat. Other than that, though, it's... You know, it's got street course characteristics and the wall's really close to it. But purpose built more than anything. Detroit's a street track. This is this is just a unique road course. up there. Really not wanting to turn right. Having, having issues with the right turn. Plus I've lost focus. No one to chase down just trying to get to the end of the race. now. I forgot what part of the track I was on there for a second.
41 seconds behind. Three more to go. We're at the point now where everyone's kind of in the same mode as me. Just get to the end. Take a look ahead and see if there's anyone close to each other. Does not look like it, so. No more, no more chances of wrecks unless someone puts a wheel off wrong. But they've made it this far, I doubt they're going to screw up. The eight's trying to catch the nine. issues. We got this guy. I don't know if this is the same guy that stopped in the racing line. Now no, he's spinning or stopped. Alright, survive that encounter with him. The wide final lap. Bring it around the final chicane and call it a day. You can go take a look at all the wrecks after this. See how that front wing looks on me. Maybe I'm full of it. Just something feels way off. And 
there we go. Had I not spun, who knows what would have happened, but sixth place, not bad at all. So, let's go see what the damage was on this. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at when it happened. See if I'm just making it up that he stopped on exit. I just. That is not the place for you to slow down and let someone go. Don't understand what he was thinking. Especially when he's sitting in the middle of the road there. All right. Back to lap one. Leader's get a massive jump. That's fine. Hey, we did that. 17 goes around as well. Did not do that. <laughs> Such a hard place to get turned around to. Flying corner. Really tight in between the walls. We got this guy going 10 miles an hour out there. That's an interesting angle. Didn't work. Well, it did. Puts him up to third. But he's going to end up wrecking later. Go figure. Ow. So he's stopping on exit again. Yep. This guy had wrecked out. That's a wall. That's a hard wall. Oh, that's not physics. Wait, is there a 12 and a 14? Yes, there is. Okay. Where is this guy? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's not the racetrack. Not the racetrack, bud. And then he Austin powers it. How many how many tries did it take? There he goes. Pack. Oh wow, that was so late. That was beyond late. What we got here. Goes in deep, locks it up. Still beats me by 50 seconds. It's me and the guy who stops on the exit of the corners. Yeah, I don't think more throttle was the answer there. What did he do there? <laughs> well, the 
tire fell off. And his trip to pit road. It's not looking fun. Alright, we got two car back out on track. And that was strange. Did the curb get him? I think the curb ripped off the front wing there. Big curb hit. I think it got stuck on the inside. say the 12 and 14 uh definitely not mclaren drivers so let's take a quick look at the results see how i gained i rating even though i was slow and what do we got 20 i rating 2034 way off on pace not not as bad as normal but this is also a weak field 1600 so should have done a little better but you know what i didn't put it in a wall but i did screw up once or twice so oh well hope you enjoyed that and monday we'll have world of outlaws and the usf 2000 so Thanks for watching.